All right, shalom, 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 shalom. Before I get started, as always, I would love to see it called like Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, we call for Dash. The one is to the elders in the parts of the great millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect, shalom. All right. The heavenly father name is Yahweh, who in the world Italy calls God. All right. Uh, Yahweh means he exists, he is, that he is, his eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And of course, the heavenly father's son name is Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh Shai means he's the savior or he's the deliverer. Same exact thing. And Yahweh Shai is, is coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, who are the Hebrew, who are the Hebrew Israelites, sons of God, Prince of Bible, Yashar They are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native, Amer and Native American Indians and the Israelite foreigners that look just like the other nations. Because you are according to the seed of your father, but then you read the book of Numbers chapter one. Alright, so you so you can be a so-called black, white, Japanese. Hey, it's all about your bloodline. As long as your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are a Hebrew Israelite point blank period. It don't matter how the way you look, because what the flesh profit little. Alright? So what I wanna do is uh read, get you know, just get right back into uh Jeremiah chapter uh seven. And I'm gonna fast forward through verse 16 in the GNT, then I got the you know the KJV version lined up. For verse 17. So check it out. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16 in GNT. It says, The Lord Yahweh said, Jeremiah, do not pray for these people. Do not cry or pray on their behalf. Do not plead with me, for I will not listen, for I will not listen to you. Yes, the Lord said, Don't pray for these wicked niggas. Alright. So I went through all that yesterday. So now we're on verse 17 on this other tab. Alright. So now this is the other tab. Okay, right here, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 17, it says, Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Yes, and see, Judah, Judah is the uh, southern tribe. Jerusalem is the northern tribe. All right, the southern tribe, the uh, southern tribe is Judah, Benjamin, and uh, Levi, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Jamaicans, and the so-called Haitians. And of course, you got the Northern Tribe. Now you got the tribe again, Reuben, Ephraim, Manasseh, etc. Right? The so-called uh, 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 North American Indians, the so-called Hispanics, so-called Mexicans, and uh, those are the what the Northern Tribe. So the Bible said, "Do you not see what they do in these streets, in these cities? Our people as wicked as all hell." All right? Even even the false prophets is uh wicked is all here, you know, because they calling on Christ. His name is not Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Right, the, the, you know, the Heavenly Father's son name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the, the he's the deliverer or he's the, the or he's the savior, same exact thing. But they're gonna sit there and tell you that we don't know the name. There's so many scriptures that you can get. All right, that proves that the elect will know the name. There's only one name where a man must be saved that they have to call upon. And that's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. There's so many scriptures that we can get. All right? As a matter of fact, when I mean, you read that in the book of Acts, uh, I Google it. That the apostle, matter of fact, I Google it. You know what? Because the apostle Paul told a group of Israelites. That. Hey, look, man, you know, y'all worshiping what? Y'all don't know what y'all worshiping. See, see, y'all worshiping the Lord, but in ignorance, because the Bible says that our people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So let me go to, to, to the book of uh, Acts. And then we're going to get right back in Jeremiah. We're going to get right back in that. But let me do this. Let's do this. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? GNT is what I want. This is the book of Acts, chapter uh, 17, verse 22 in the GNT. It says, Paul stood in the middle of the court and said, Men of Athens, I see that you are very religious. Yes, because the apostle Paul said, Man, I see that these Israelites over here is very religious. You know, they got the matching garments. Uh, I'm just translating this to today's term. Oh man, you know they got the matching garments. They got the little 
the little armband, wristband, whatever, you know what I'm saying, the case may be. All right. Got the little headband on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, man, your garment cost you $500, you know what I'm saying? Somebody making merchandise of this truth, okay? So the Apostle Paul was saying that these Israelites was very religious, which, again, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, because I'm going to break it down some more. All right, but let me read the next scripture before I make that statement. Let me uh, read this before I make that statement. But I want to get it in a different version like I always do. Uh, Acts chapter 17 verse 23, but I want to get it in this one. In the NIV. It says, for as I walk around and look carefully at your objects, O worship. Now how today, how do we uh, walk around and look carefully at your objects of worship. How do we do that today? YouTube, the internet, the social media. We is looking around, we browsing around, we is walking around looking at your objects of worship. And we are seeing how you move. Damn. Y'all calling on Christ? No, no, no. His name is Yahweh Shai. Stop calling on Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Just like Paul had to correct them we correcting you the same exact thing that paul said the same exact thing that we saying all right so now let me pull this right back out it says back in acts chapter 17 verse 23 in the niv for as i walk around and look carefully at your objects of worship i even found an altar with this inscription to an unknown God. Yes, and there's a lot of people that's 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 are uh, using that to the unknown God. Hmm. Well, we we don't know the name. We won't get his name till after the Lord come back. But the scripture clearly tell you that there's only one name where man must call upon with that he must be saved. Right? Which means the elect will be given the name. So the elect knows the name. The heavenly father name is Yahweh. His son name is Yahweh Shai. So you got men now. You got these false prophets that saying that no one knows the name. And but they got the audacity to call on Christ. Nigga, you better off calling on to the unknown God. We don't know who he is. Alright? But the apostle Paul corrected this whole entire group. And only the elect believe because you had unbelievers that mock. Hold on, hold on. Let me not be. Let me not go ahead. All right. Let me read on it. Uh, back in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 23 in the NIV, it says, For as I walk around and look carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription to an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship. Yes, you are very ignorant of the very same thing that you worship the bible says that if you come to serve the lord yahweh by hashem yahweh shai prepare thy soul for temptation and you got people that are saying that they don't want to serve the lord no more because they hate the temptation uh, did you not know that scripture if you come to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation that's what the bible say the Bible also said that you will be persecuted if you are a prophet, of course. You, you will be persecuted. Man, now you mad and you upset because people are mocking and laughing and scoffing. Man, I ain't want to do that no more. Now, what the Bible say? The Bible also said to make your body a living sacrifice. The Lord even said himself that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Listen, you worshiping what well, you know not what. All right. Now, of course, that scripture is talking. Now, that scripture was a heathen woman. All right, she was no Israelite. But you niggas act just like heathens. That's why the Bible says all people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. They got their little shrine. They got idols everywhere. Nigga, we don't. We are not a nation of idols. We are a nation of truth. I right? you know the Bible says to serve the Lord, to worship Him in spirit and in truth, not in false. And in vain, all right. 
Ooh, that pass over. I'm, I'm gonna definitely speak on that. I definitely gotta speak on the pass over. But I wanna hold that pass over thought later because I definitely wanna speak on that. So now, let me read this again. It says, the very latter end of Acts chapter 17, verse 23 in the NIV, it says, So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship, and this is what I am going to proclaim to you. So the Apostle Paul said, I'm about to proclaim unto you the truth about this unknown God that you worship about. Oh, you claim that you don't know the name? Well, let me proclaim to you the truth of who this unknown God is. He is, the, he is the creator of heaven and, and, and uh, earth. Everything you see, he is the form of all things. He sent his son to die for the to die for the nation of Israel. And only the elect will receive him on, on this side of town. So the apostle Paul uh, the, 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 he, everything he said is, is the exact same thing that we are uh, saying right now. Right? There's only one name that man must be saved. Y'all don't know the name? Well, and guess what? I'm going to give you the name. So the Apostle Paul went to these group of Israelites and say, this the name, this the Heavenly Father, this his son, etc., etc. But again, I'm going to drop down because the scripture tells you about some believe and some didn't. And some of them mock the Apostle Paul and say, man, this nigga trip. What the fuck you talking about? But I'm going to read it. As a matter of fact, let me get straight to that because... Hold on. Let's get straight to that right there. Uh, let me see. Drop down, drop down, drop down. This is verse 32. Straight to the point. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 32. It says, And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mock. So you had some mocking the Apostle Paul. Again, I'm, I, I'm about to read it again. Hold on, type this up so you won't fall. It says, back in Acts chapter 17, verse 32, And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mock, and others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. So you had the unbelievers that was mocking the Apostle Paul. The same thing that they do to us today. Man, that shit ain't real. We're talking about a uh, so-called black man that's going to crack the clouds. I mean, a uh, so-called black man that's going to crack the clouds. I mean, the clouds. And, and you, you, you mean to tell me that the Lord is going is to come back in the UFO? You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't believe that. They do not believe that. And it's not a UFO. It's a chariot. Get it right. A chariot is a vehicle. Yes, Yahweh Shai is coming back in a heavenly vehicle. People don't even believe that. That's going to be bigger than the earth. Get that shit out of here. Yes, the Lord's going to come in a vehicle that's bigger than the earth. That's why the Bible says that all eyes shall see him. I don't believe that shit. So when the Apostle Paul went to these group of Israelites that had a zeal but not according to knowledge, you had niggas in the midst gorillas in the midst mocking the apostle Paul the same thing that they do us we telling you the name but you don't believe it nigga don't nobody know the name nigga that's a title no that's the name if you can break it down in the Hebrew tongue that's the name Yah means he Yahweh means savior or deliverer Yahweh Shai there's only one Yahweh Shai Hamashiach come on man and of course, remember what I read, and I'm gonna read it again. You actually have believers. All right, check this out. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 32. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mock, and others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. Yes, because you had the believers that said, Hey, man, I believe in that, man. Hey, the Apostle Paul is right. He's speaking truth about you. How about Hashem Yahweh The same thing that we're doing today. There's nothing new under the sun. We're doing the same exact thing that our forefathers did, man. All right? Excuse me. We, 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 we doing the same exact thing. 
We telling you about the resurrection of uh, how we shot. We telling you about the Lord is gonna come back. He gonna crack them clouds. How the way people love the sky. I mean, how the way people love to see. You mean to tell me a uh, black man is gonna crack the sky? But you mean to tell me you believe that a so-called white man can uh, come through the sky? Niggas believe that, but it Charleston White. He believed that. He said that his savior is the devil. No, 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 no. Our savior, all right, Mr. Lord is only dealing with the, like, he ain't dealing with no nigga. The Lord is going to kill and destroy Charleston White. All right, the Lord is dealing with the, like, other nation of Israel. If you is not of the, like, you might as well say goodbye. Just say goodbye because you is uh, not going to make it. All right. But let me get, matter of fact, I, I digress, okay? Let me get back to the very first scripture. All right. Well, it's technically the second scripture that I opened up with. All right. So I just, I just wanted to prove that point that how the Apostle Paul came is to exactly how we come. And you're going to have believers and non-believers. All right. So there's some of the elect that's amongst these niggas. You're going to have, we was the elect amongst niggas. And the Lord got us out of that, man. Alright. And that's that's just the way it is. Alright. So so back in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 17. See is thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. So even when you correct our right, people, they get pissed off and mad. Or they'll mock you and laugh. That shit ain't real. Alright. You tell somebody about the name, about how to walk, how to move. Hey man, stop being of uh, stop walking like a fool. You have to walk like a wise man. They get mad like nigga. What the fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? It's always a nigga with a beam in his eye telling you about a splinter. That's that's a hypocrite. The Lord will actually humble your ass. Alright? The Lord will humble you for telling somebody else about a splinter when you got a beam in your eye. Stop that. Get some help. <laughs> oh man, yo, what's in that scripture? Hold on. What else I have? Let me see something. Uh... Oh yeah, verse 18, I'll read this one. It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. Ah, it says, the children gather, yeah, these niggas, okay? It says, the children gather wood and the fathers candle the fire. Hey, they got that grill ready to cook on the 4th of July. It says the children gather wood and the fathers candle the fire and the women need their dough. To, and the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. Yeah, you know, that's what all people do. That's why the Lord told Jeremiah, which is talking about us, don't be praying for these niggas. They can do all this shit for a false god. Matter of fact, let me finish reading all this, you know, before I make that statement. Because the Passover statement just had, you know, it had just not came back on. It says, to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out the, and, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. Yeah, you pouring out drink offerings unto other gods. Our people have became so wicked that they defiled the Passover. They defiled the high holy days. How the hell do you defile the past? Only a nigga can do that. Only a nigga can defile the past. How the fuck do you do that? How? How? Only a nigga. Okay, let me speak about the past. So, no, then I'm gonna finish reading. I'm gonna finish reading that verse. Okay, you have believers of the truth, right? The Passover was supposed to be a day of repentance, a day of humble, a day of fear, hoping that the, the Lord don't take the Holy Spirit from you, right? Okay. Why you got niggas partying on the Passover? Shooting fireworks, a fashion show, riding on a horse. Partying the ass off, man. Script club. Hiring strippers. I mean, is you not understanding what's going on? How in the hell 
do you defile the Passover? Do you not know what happened on the Passover? Do you not know what the, the, the deliverance from ancient Egypt? All the sins that you committed, the whole nine. I mean, like it's the it's a, the Passover is a day of repentance, a solemn assembly. What happened on the Passover? Yahweh Shai got crucified, and, and and like I would say, when the earth got flooded, it happened during the Passover time. Major events, uh, all major, like the most major crucial events, gonna happen on the Passover. On the Passover or around the Passover. Okay. When we get delivered again, the elect is going to be the Passover. It's going to always be the Passover. Like I always say what time it is, huh? Still got time. It's going to always be the Passover. And you defile the Passover. Hey, hold on, let me read the scripture again so I keep it fresh in your mind. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. It says, The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings and two other gods. Yeah, you turn, you, uh, and to pour out drink offerings and two other gods. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Get some help. Two other guys, you calling upon, I can't, I hate when someone called himself a prophet and, and they say, Christ said, and in Christ, nigga, that's another guy. His name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai, the anointed one, man. Yo, get the name right. Going back to the Passover, the elect does it perfect. All right. We do our best to rehearse the righteous acts. In the land of our captivity, we will rehearse the righteous acts. Alright. You got your lamb, got your burrito, or however the hell you trying to do it, I don't know. But we are here to rehearse the righteous acts. Can we keep it perfectly? No. Ain't nobody got no farm. If Esau find out that you growing food, he going, man. You have to have license to grow damn food. Esau said, no, 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 no. You got to be poisoned in it. Each and every way. Know what I'm saying? The Lord said he created medicines out, out of the earth. Every single fruit and vegetable is supposed to be healthy and extremely beneficial. You eat that, you get sick. Wow. I digress. Let me get back to this right here. Time it is. Yeah, we still got some time. Anyway, well, I guess this will be the last verse then. Then I did kind of start kind of late. So, 18, let me finish it off. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18, the very latter end, it says, And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger, that they may provoke me to anger. The Lord said that even for the ones that know to do right, but they do wrong, which you sell out. They know they provoking the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai to anger, but they do it anyway because they sold their soul for what? For not. Mm. Y'all turn a day where Yahweh Shai was put on the cross who died for your sin and you party on that day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Y'all need to understand right from... Hey, just like the Apostle Paul, man. I read it in the book of Acts. Hopefully you learned something today. The Apostle Paul saw that he didn't have the name and he said, look, I'm about to give you the name. Some of them scoff him. But you have believers that actually believe. The elect is scattered everywhere. Only the elect can believe and can receive the truth. And if you're not of the elect, then you is going to receive death and destruction. It, it, it's just that simple. Now, all Israel will be saved, but two-thirds must die on, on this side. What time it is? 
kind. Yeah, two thirds is gonna die on this side, man. It don't make no, it don't make no damn sense, man. It's crazy, all right. But anyway, hey man, hopefully this uh, what day Wednesday? Hopefully this Wednesday, December the twentieth. Uh, lunch break camp list was edifying. Like I said, I did start it kind of late. Um, hey, hopefully it was edifying. But yeah, man, we doing basically. Hopefully you learn something because we doing the same thing that our forefathers did. That did that the uh, prophets before us did. Jeremiah chapter chapter twenty eight verse eight. The prophets before me and before the of old prophesied against great kingdoms of war, even in pestilence. All right. So hey, look, this, hey, look, we are our forefathers coming back. We be those same prophets coming back. Cause we ain't the prophet sign up peace to Babylon. No, no, death to Babylon, death to Esau. Not peace to NATO in the EU, but death to NATO in the EU, which is the fucking beast. Alright? So yeah, man. Yeah, let me go ahead and end it. I'm gonna end up by saying call all you by Hashem, y'all shy, by Hashem, we call Kadash, the blindness to the elders, and the apostles of great millstone. And shout out Wam too, the whole for the Shout out Wam, man. Y'all just keep on fighting, keep on doing. We almost out this bitch. Shout out Wam, and don't let no man take your crown. Shout out Wam. And don't let nobody quench your spirit neither. You already know.